I have in my hand here. I don't know how well you can see that. You know, the video isn't always that crisp, but that is a bag of shredded U.S. legal tender. It's it's cash. It's money. Three hundred sixty-four dollars in this bag. Uh, is is there significance to the number three sixty-four? Uh, no, it just happens to be how much money is shredded up in this little bag. Uh, and it might seem like a really dumb thing to do, to cut money into little pieces and put it in a bag. And it is dumb, but there are two things, at least, uh, two things that are even dumber, even worse than wasting money. And I want to talk about two of them today. There's probably more, but we can talk about two of them. Number one is wasting opportunity. <laughs> Uh, so with regard to email, one opportunity that, uh, a lot of us are wasting, let me say something that I haven't said in a long time. We used to say it all the time here back when I was really active. Uh, you're not emailing your list enough. Most of the people in our group here are scared to do it. You're scared to do it. You think you're going to bother somebody. You think they're going to unsubscribe. You think they're going to complain. They're going to hit spam and your business is going to disintegrate and I can tell you, if you're sending the right kind of emails, you're sending valuable emails, uh, uh, interesting and fun emails, uh, you're sending va value, you know, something that they can learn from, the, pe the recipient can learn from and enjoy, they're not going to unsubscribe unless you send them 20 emails a day. But I just got off a call not long ago, two weeks ago, I think, with one of the most profitable businesses I know, uh, they said they when somebody first uh, subscribes, well, they sell a front-end product. They sell a front-end product. And within, so front-end, by front-end, I mean it's low prices, 79, 49 to $79 to $99, something like that. Uh, and immediately, in the next three days, they send seven emails, dedicated sales emails, in an attempt to get them to buy the next thing. Uh and it makes an insane amount of money for them. Now, it somebody else who went through the process uh, of buying the product to look at the, how the marketing worked said called it obnoxious. Maybe that maybe seven emails in three days is obnoxious, but the amount of money that they make is insane. Uh, and you're missing <laughs> you're missing out because you don't you're not taking advantage of that opportunity. Now, I'm not going to tell you you need to send seven emails in three days. But I will tell you that you can send more than one email a month. And if you're not, you're, you're missing out. You can send more than one per week. I, the, once per week is like the minimum that I recommend. Uh, most of us can send an e you know, multiple emails per week. If you get away with mailing every day. Some people do more than, one, more than once per day. Even if they don't have any specific, or special uh, promotion going on or anything. And so don't do that anymore. <laughs> By the way... Kamari, I appreciate uh, you showing up. I don't do this ever, so I mean, it's, it's nice to, to get a little uh, company. Uh, yeah, so wasting the opportunities that we're getting. You never know when you're going to get another opportunity, and you and one thing you do know is you'll never get a second chance to make that first impression, so you got to not waste that. When people first come to meet you, make sure you're knocking that out of the park, showing the value that you have, showing how trustworthy you are, how valuable the relationship is going to be if they stick stick around with you and so you need to do that more emails more valuable emails stop being scared of doing that and i and the other thing is a lot of the people in this group maybe <laughs> you've never seen uh really interesting valuable emails uh <laughs> thank you the i've i used to I've, i share this a lot i got a comment from one of our subscribers that said i read everything that you send and we are sending an email per day Every day, because I'm always interested in seeing what you're going to say and how you're going to tie your story into whatever you're trying to teach us. And so, in daily email, I get a thank you letter for sending, or thank you email saying thank you for sending us these cool emails. You can do it too. You got to have value. Value is a, is a generic term. I don't know how to define that for you, but it'll be defined by what your reader signed up to hear about and the, tr the transformation you can help them achieve in their life. Uh, so you need to do that. Kamari, since you're here, I'm going to say, you know, I've seen some of the videos you've been doing lately, uh, helping people understand the stock market, make money the smart way from in the stock market and the investments and staying away from crazy things 
uh, dangerous things, speculative things. Uh, it's good advice. And people are going to tune in to hear that all the time. People, the right people will. And the wrong people might bail, but who cares? So there are all kinds of opportunities, but that's just the one I want to talk about today. And the second thing that's worse than wasting money, remember, why in the world do I have a bag full of torn up real money? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to tell you that today. But uh, the second thing is wasting your time. Now, you've heard this before. I just want to reemphasize, remind you, it's Monday morning, I think. <laughs> and sometimes we like to ease into a Monday uh, I'm just going to check my email. I'm going to play around in a Facebook group like I'm doing now. Uh, because, I don't, you know, I'm not ready to get into this. Uh, it's, I'm not going to say you should not relax. You should, you, you know, relax sometimes and enjoy your life. Uh, but realize that this time that you have, you won't get back. And you may look back. I know I do. Look back and say, why did I waste that time being silly? Uh, so one thing I want to say, if you're if you're in this group... Uh, and you're not getting value from it. I mean, we asked this question. I, I made a poll. Some of you saw it. Uh, how much would you pay to be in this group? I want to know if it's valuable to you. Uh, what, are we, what are we not doing uh, that's making you feel that it's not valuable? Or what are we doing that's doing well? Um, if it's not valuable to you, then it's a waste of your time. And, and it's, it's crazy. But you have the opportunity to ask questions. If you ask for what you need, you just might get it in here. 